Do you, do you feel different heading into Yeah, it sets a tone. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it started last night. I just told it to BJ. Like, <laughs> one of, first of all, I hate early games. You know, <laughs> so like, kind of trying to get myself mentally ready to the point where I only got <laughs> three hours, two hours of sleep last night, just because I was sitting there like hype. Like, I just everything that happened tonight. You know, just seeing the towels, seeing the whiteout. Like, it's just something you dream of as a as a kid. So I always tell people I never lose that. You know what I mean? And kind of it brings out, but also setting the tone from a more professional standpoint, setting the tone. But um, yeah, it's exciting. This is, this is, I love this. You know what I mean? This is something that's great. But in the same token, this game is over with. You know what I mean? This this is just trying to set that tone. And now I got to do it again and again and uh, definitely get to bed. Jimmy. How much does it help you to have George and Max one here today? But how much does it help you to have guys like that that defenses have to respect no matter? Yeah, and I think honestly, a lot of it too is Max had nine rebounds. You know what I mean? There was <clears throat> there was a possession we played Indiana, and he I missed a three. He grabs the rebound, and then DG comes back and hits a three. Like those are the winning plays. You know that's what he's obviously we all know Miami's culture. I know that's what he's obviously groomed from, and bringing that over here to us. And that started at the beginning of the year when he was the leader in the sprints. You know what I mean? That's just the little things. Um, that he brings to us. And it's not always going to be, you know, a 20-point in a fourth quarter night for Max, but he's always going to give us. He's a plus 13 tonight, even though he didn't shoot the ball well and had five turnovers. Like, to still be plus 13 speaks a lot to him. Um, and his voice, and then George as well. George was also a plus 13 and then hit 1-3, you know, just continuing to be a positive voice and an important voice while being out there. You guys had the big run in the third and the fourth quarter. Right after you guys had the offense kind of bogged down a little bit, what did you guys figure out during that stretch? Um, <clears throat> just getting back to what we do. <clears throat> They're gonna like, I, you know, I think that's that's the biggest thing. Getting back to our game plan, continue to push the pace, get our looks. Um, you know, getting into the paint, finding guys. And the biggest thing too is when you're not hitting shots, you know, not getting discouraged. And they were making some, uh, but we were we were able to you know hold them under 90, which was you know great defensively. But we weren't converting, you know, so that's definitely tough when you're getting stops. And you're not converting, um, but when you have the mental fortitude and you're battle tested, and you have guys that are battle tested, um, you know I think that's something that really helped us during that during that stretch, and um, we got the win in it. What does your performance today uh, say about where you where you are physically and emotionally? Um, this is who I am. You know that's kind of been my my message all year. This is why I'm here, and this is one game. You know I could have had 10 tonight, you know, as long as we got the dub, I'll do anything it takes to win.